11.30 and we're on the way to the doctor's rough office. My appointment is the first in the day, so hopefully I won't have to sit in the waiting room for waiting for a bunch of people in front of me. I'm going to the eye doctor today and this is my annual checkup and they're going to do the whole bit and including dilate and all that and fit me for glasses for another year and get that done. And when that's over, well, Lisa and I are going to uh, go to breakfast someplace. That'll be my first time in a walk-in, sit-down restaurant in over a year. Well, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. And no bad news. And uh, the good news is my one good eye is still as good as it was and no problems with it and I get new glasses. So it's all well worth the effort. Now we're on our way to the restaurant. What's the name of it? Egg Haven. Egg Haven. Okay. With a thing like that, it's pretty obvious it's a breakfast restaurant. What is it, just breakfast, lunch, and... That's it, breakfast and lunch. What is this, a service road to the freeway? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, it's just all. This isn't far from your house, is it? No, not at all. Well, here we are, right here, right on the corner. We're going to go in and have breakfast now. Well, it was very good breakfast. The only thing I couldn't film in there because I had music on and I knew I'd get dinged on the copyright, so rather than have that happen, then uh, I just didn't film anything in there. a picture of me and my my mask that I wear. Well here it is. I found this on eBay for five dollars and no postage and ordered it. I figured that the least I could do is wear a Texas mask. seems to be closed. <clears throat> you 
You know, they say that 50% of the restaurants, both drive-in and dine-in, in existence a year ago have closed. Uh, the restaurant we went to this morning, it's only been open, what, how long now? One year. Oh, it's just a year? You mean they opened when this started? Right, so it'd be about 13 or 14 months ago. Oh. They had just opened and then had to shut down. It's amazing they survived. Because they didn't have any... I'm sure they didn't have any surplus cash built up to live on and pay rent and everything on the building and lease price on the equipment. You know, leasing to uh, equip a restaurant is no cheap thing. All those tables, chairs, uh, all that stuff is, in most restaurants, is leased. They have to be around a while to own their own. Well, the instant we stepped inside that restaurant uh, for breakfast, I knew I wasn't going to be able to film in there because they had uh, loud music on over the speaker system and I'd be deemed for a copyright violation and uh, get all kinds of nasty letters and things like that about it. So I just shut the camera off and stuck it in my pocket and we had breakfast there. and Got a picture of the menu, uh, what I ordered. But uh, nothing else was filmed there, so I decided to finish off the video with a quick one on making uh, a breakfast sandwich here at home. I've got everything out I'm going to need for my uh, breakfast biscuit. I have a bun, an egg, a piece of round cheese, and a piece of sausage. And uh, I ran a cost basis on all of this, and it ran for less than a dollar. But if you bought it down at uh, Walmart, at, uh, Whataburger, or McDonald's, or any place like that, it'd be 4.89, and by the time you put tax on it, it'd be over five dollars. So I'm going to have a sandwich for under a dollar that would cost you five dollars anywhere else. So now I'm going to get started on this. First, I want to, the skillet is hot here. I'm going to throw my little rusty, trusty ring in there and give it a shot of cooking spray. And I like a Tex-Mex style. Now, those of you who have never had eggs Tex-Mex style or don't know what you're missing, but they use, uh, crushed corn tortilla chips mixed with scrambled eggs and just crunch up a couple chips here and dump them in there then break the egg in it And break the egg in there and break the yellow with the shell of the egg here so it spreads around. And then tilt it so it runs across and fills all the way across. Now my old ice cube trick to get perfect eggs every time. You just grab an ice cube, throw it in beside it, and put a lid on it. Now, I'll put 
put the brine on them over here in the toaster oven, start browning, and the sausage goes in the microwave for 30 seconds to heat it, frozen. And the only thing to do now is sit back and wait. The bun is toasted. Put those pieces on there. Get out my spicy ranch dressing here. You know, that's buy it at the grocery store. It's already mixed and really good and works perfect for this. And just put a little ring of that spicy dressing on there. And on top of the spicy dressing goes the piece of cheese. And on top of that the sausage. And on top of that, the cooked egg. And before we do anything else with the egg, we'll salt and pepper it. perfectly cooked egg. I'll show you the back side of it. See that makes kind of a little crust on there like a little pie crust. That, uh, crushed uh, chips do. And it's really good. Put everything aside. Pour myself a cup of coffee and head for my recliner chair to watch the news and breakfast is done. My dollar breakfast bun is done. Well, this video didn't turn out the way that I planned for it to when I started it and it sort of exploded in the middle. But thanks for watching it and uh, God bless America, God bless Texas. Where else would you find a beautiful picture like this in Texas? Bye.